ASMR boosters here, still dying. Um, I bought some cards today. Uh, they're like the bulk, like 50 cent cards or whatever. Some of them aren't worth 50 cents. Some are worth a little bit more, but usually never over like a dollar or like two dollars or whatever. So it's just easy to get them. <laughs> so some of them aren't English. This is Traumatize. It costs five and target player discards the top cards of his library, half of them, <laughs> rounded down, so, pretty strong, <laughs> I think this one's called Planar Cleansing, I'm pretty sure it destroys all creatures, Shimmer Mirror has Flash, and gives all your artifacts Flash, Exile target creature that dealt damage to you this turn. It's an instant for one. Precinct Captain has first strike. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, put a 1-1 one, one white soldier creature token onto the battlefield. Eternal Dragon has flying, and for five, return it from your graveyard to your hand. And has plain cycling. Enchanted creature can't attack or block, and its activated abilities can't be played. Opal Titan. I like this card. When one of your opponents successfully casts a creature, if Opal Titan is an enchantment, it becomes a 4-4 creature with protection from each of that spell's colors, and that counts as a giant. So in EDH, if they play their commander, you have protection from their commander with that creature. O-Ring, when it enters the battlefield, um, when it comes into play, remove another target non-land permanent from the game. When O-Ring leaves play, return it. Core Outfitter, when it enters the battlefield, you may attach target equipment you control to it to a creature you control. So it's a 2-2 two -two for 2, and it's pretty decent. Muzzle. Enchant creature, and prevent all damage that would be dealt by that creature. Good in commander, because they can't do commander damage. Heroes resolve. Enchanted creature gets plus 1, plus 5, which is not bad for 2. Soul Tithe, Enchant Non-Land Permanent. At the beginning, at the beginning of their upkeep, they have to pay the mana cost again every turn. Light of Day, Black Creatures cannot attack or block. Just shuts down those decks. Roommate plays a lot of black. <laughs> so, Serenity, during your upkeep, all artifacts and enchantments. That's for a different type of deck. Martial Law. At the beginning of your upkeep, detain dark creature and opponent controls. Inviolability. Prevent all damage that would be dealt to creature, uh, enchanted creature. spells and whatnot. Beloved Chaplain. Chaplain. Protection from creatures. Oriok. Edge right. Has metal craft. It has double strike as long as you control three or more artifacts. Mesa Enchantress. Cast an enchantment spell, you may draw the card. True Believer gives you hexproof. <coughs> yep, it's a creature. Do do for do. Lost Leonin is a do one for do with infect. It should be a zombie, but it's not. 
Tampa car regent at the beginning of your upkeep. Put a 2-2 two -two, uh, white cat creature token onto the battlefield for each equipment on her. Umper Mystic. Um, or as attached to permanence you control have totem armor. Which basically makes it so if I have an enchantment on a creature and the creature gets killed the enchantment falls off instead and dies. Sanctum Gargoyle has flying and when it enters the battlefield you may return target artifact from your graveyard to your hand. Oh, I don't want to sneeze again. Bates Fetters Enchant Permanent When it comes into play you gain 4 life. Enchanted Permanent's activated abilities can't be played unless they're mana abilities. If enchantment if enchanted permanent is a creature, it can't attack or block. Tashnar Swordsmith. When it, when it comes into play, pay X. If you do, search your library for an equipment card with converted mana cost X or less and put it into play. Then shuffle your library. Diabolic Edict. Target player sacrifices a creature. Fleshbag Marauder. When it enters the battlefield, each player sacrifices a creature. <laughs> Sathrid Necromancer. Whenever another, whenever this or another human creature you control dies, put a 2-2 black zombie creature with onto the battlefield tapped. I might have this card already, I'm not sure, but it's decent anyways. <laughs> Tendrils of Agony. Target player loses two life and you gain two life and it has storm. So, for those of you who don't know about storm, <laughs> check it out. Haunted of Night's Reach. At the beginning of your upkeep, target opponent discards a card. For each shrine you control. So, I got two of them today. Hopefully I'll get more tomorrow. Creator's Grasp. Search target opponent's library for a card and exile it face down. Then the player shuffles his or her library. You may look at and play that card for as long as it remains exiled. Good if you want another soul ring. <laughs> Primal Cocoon is, cocoon is kind of whatever. At the beginning of your upkeep, the enchanted creature gets 1-1 one, one counter. But... Um, whenever it attacks, it loses this, so it has to sit and gain 1-1 one, one counters to do anything. Enchanted creature has forced walk. <laughs> Mind swipe. Counter target spell. Unless its controller pays X, and it deals X to them. Channel. You pay life. One life equals one colorless mana, and you can use it for the turn. So, turn two, if you have two green, and an Eldrazi or something in your hand, is usually how it goes. Um, you pay the life to play it. So, awesome card. Villainous Wealth. Target opponent exiles the top X cards of his or her library. You may cast any number of non-land cards with the converted mana cost X or less from among them without paying their mana cost. <laughs> Devastation Tide. Return all non-land permanents to their owner's hand. It has a miracle for two, so if you draw it and play it on the same turn, it only costs two. <laughs> Compulsive Research. Target player draws three cards. Then that player discards two cards unless he or she discards a land. Haunted of Seeing Winds. You uh, draw a card on each of your upkeep for each shrine you control. So you draw a card, they discard a card. Actually, they would discard two, you would draw two. <laughs> Ludvig's Test Subject. It is a 0-3 with Defender. And for one and a blue, you put a counter on it. Then, when it has five or more, you flip it. Search your library for a artifact with one or less.
less compared to mana cost. Usually a soul ring. More like a Dormod's crypt if uh, they're using graves. <laughs> Wall Drifter has fly and evoke three. When it enters the battlefield, draw a card. Or draw two cards. Yeah. Jace's Mind Seeker. Fly. When it enters the battlefield, target opponent puts the top five cards of his or her library into his or her graveyard. You may cast it against it to sorcery without paying its mana cost from those cards. Force Spike. Counter target spell unless its caster pays one. Frantic Search. Draw two cards. Then choose and discard two cards. Untap three lands or up to three. Vada Adele, Inquisitor, has Island Walk. Whenever she deals combat damage to a player, search that player's library for an artifact card and exile it. Then that player shuffles his or her library until the end of the turn. You may play that card. Always Soul Ring. <laughs> Mind Shrieker, has Flying. You pay two. Target player puts the top card of his or her library into his or her graveyard. My trigger gets X plus X, where that is the card's converted mana cost. So, you discard a 10 10 Eldrazi. This is a 10 11 11 fly creature. Boom, boom. Barfolk Looter. Tap it to draw a card and discard a card. Shape anew. The controller of target artifact sacrifices it then reveals cards from the top of his or her library until he or she reveals an artifact card, then put it on the battlefield and shuffle. <laughs> clone. You may have Clone enter the battlefield as a copy of any creature on the battlefield. And miscalculation. Counter target spell. Unless it's controller. Or unless the spell's player. The base two. Oh gosh, I can't talk. It has cycling for two. So, those are some pretty good cards that I got. Um, they're good for cube. 